face the Sharks, a bunch of mates ready to chill out and wind down the week. Oh, Travelling in numbers. Hi Sharks, we're Friday Beers and today we're seeking a $25,000 investment in our business in return for a 10% equity stake. My name's Lee and I came up with the idea for Friday Beers when I really wanted a drink on a Friday afternoon but we didn't have anything in the fridge and I was too busy to go up to the bottle shop to buy some myself. So I sent my good mate Keegan up here, up to the bottle shop, but what he came back with was pretty ordinary, mainly because the selection up there wasn't that good. But over those beers, we came up with a way to get cold craft beer delivered to your desk on a Friday afternoon. So Sharks, imagine if you will that glorious time of the week, better known as Friday afternoon. We thought to ourselves, how can we possibly enhance this Friday afternoon spirit? Well, it's an easy answer to that question, and that's beer. We're talking about craft beer that's handmade, hand selected and hand delivered to your desk. <laughs> oh, good stuff. <laughs> Friday Beers delivers a different six pack of beer each and every week for $28.80, with no lock in contracts, no hidden fees, and the ability to suspend or cancel your account at any time. So before we get down to the nitty gritty, how about a beer? Absolutely. Bring it on. Yeah, bring it on. At 12 o'clock, it's all good. Ah, thank you. So they're all different, are they? They are. We've just specialised our tasting notes here, yeah, and it gives you a little bit of education on what's out there in the marketplace. Thank you. There's more beers coming onto the market now than there is uh, or ever has been. This is sensational beer. I'll also declare an interest that these guys do deliver me beer or have it on, on, on occasion. Why doesn't that surprise me? Well, you know, I, I am, a, I am a, a liker of beer, so great, great service and good, good to see you here, guys. It's fantastic. Um, at the time when you first delivered me beers, when we actually first saw you on Twitter, I think it was, we didn't believe it was true, so we just sort of bought it just out of a bit of a, a dare, but you actually turned up and gave us beer. I thought, there's a hole in this business plan. There's five days in the week, and you happen to be active for one of them. Oh, that's, that's definitely a niche, and we're, we're, we're going to carve that out as hard as we can. It's that Friday afternoon feeling that we're trying to capitalise on. Friday beers, as you say, is an occasion. Yeah. So you could sell other products into that audience, not just beers, presumably. Yeah, That's exactly right. 100%. Have you thought about that? Yeah, absolutely. And, and part of our way to scale this business for the future, we're already looking at other opportunities in wine, cider, food, to cater for office parties, to do bits and pieces like that, and also paraphernalia. So how do you curate the beers? What, what, how do you decide? It's part of my role is to research what beers are on the, on the market. It's a tough oh, job. I know. <laughs> you say it with all seriousness. He went, it'll yeah, be me, I'll do it. it. Did you say to your parents growing up, I want to be a beer taster? Well, I did when I uh, left university early. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds easy. So get into the business model. So you're only operating in Brisbane at this point of time? Yeah. How many customers have you got? What's your revenue of the business? We've only been going properly for two months. We've got 50 customers at, mo at the moment. We've done 350 deliveries. We're making about $8 um, per delivery, landed on somebody's desk. The average size delivery is just one six pack. We are saying that, you know, it's one and a half per person if we average it out, but we are actually delivering multiple units to single locations. So the margin grows, the, big, the more amount of deliveries we do to the so same location. So are you location. targeting, for instance, an office building, doing your flyers, so this is our target, then we'll get 20 customers inside this one location. So delivery becomes negligible, and that's how you plan Absolutely. to scale. Absolutely. Are and there any, any roadblocks to getting into a building? Like, do the security guards pull you up? Or? No, we're friends with all the security guards. <laughs> and so the, and the, con <laughs> the concierges in some of the high-class high buildings, they love us as well, so. I don't know why. You just yeah, know yeah, I know, I know. It's the perfect product. What, what's the plan to scale? So our plan is to uh, move into Sydney and Melbourne, but I think initially we need to get to that 100 deliveries every Friday afternoon. Per, um, per city or per...? For, just for Brisbane. In, OK, right. right. Um, and then uh, our next step up from that is probably 500 and then 1,000. But the numbers that we've run and the logistics that we've worked out, we can do 5,000 deliveries on a Friday afternoon around Australia without running into too many trouble. 
So 5,000 times eight, is that a fair call? Maybe 10, 50,000 bucks a week, potentially two and a half million dollars a year. Seems like a lot. Look, I, I buy your model in a local sense. I don't see it scaling personally, but only because other competitors are in those cities. And you've got to have a competitive advantage over that, and there are no real barriers to entry. Uh, I wish you luck. I, I'll probably become a customer. Uh, but for those reasons, I know. Well, I really love what you're doing but I don't think the $25,000 is anywhere near enough if you want to be a part of a land grab. I think you've got a market. I think you've got a lovely product. I do think it makes a great gift. We've been selling it for years, but I'm out. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. You guys have a ball. And I think that's what's great about it, isn't it? When you go, wouldn't it be great if I create a business and have an absolute ball with some great mates? I mean, you've guys gone tick, 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 tick. I don't think you should do a deal today, personally. I think you should go off, you know what you're going to do, just keep to yourselves and grow it organically, but I'm Thank you, Jimmy. Terrible advice. <laughs> My workplace, we always used to have Friday afternoon drinks. So get what you're up to. It's a lot of fun. But uh, for this one, I'm going to be out. Thanks. Thanks, Hans. Do you need another beer, Steve? <laughs> I will give him another beer. Give him another beer. You've got more chance. Seriously, you do not want him as a partner. He will drink <laughs> all the profits. The value that's at 250,000 bucks, right, is I, I, I think that they can get to in a very short period of time at two and a half million bucks a year. And this actually becomes a, a very viable conduit for people wanting to promote their product to effectively people who work in very well paid jobs in the inner city. You can turn potentially up to two and a half million bucks in yearly sales and to probably double that into quite a, a, a great business. All right, I'm in, guys. Uh, exactly what you asked for, 25 grand, 10%. I think Absolutely. Yeah, I, I think so, Come on. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cheers. 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 Well, I know where I am. I'm going to be on Friday nights. Is he going to be our new taste tester? That's the question. Bye. Bye. Have fun. I'm really sorry I didn't actually match that. Yeah. We had some great advice from somebody who said never do a deal with somebody you're not prepared to have a beer with. So we've done that now. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Cheers.